Hello, aspiring Oracle DBA YouTube geeks. Uh, this is Justin, and in this video, I am going to show you how to take a hot backup of an Oracle database. Now, there are two ways to make a backup of an Oracle database, a cold backup and a hot backup. Now, a cold backup, which is discussed in another video, is making what we call a consistent backup. And how that works is you log on, shut down the database, Back up all the files that consist of your Oracle database, your control files, your read log files, and your data files. Then what you do is you bring your database back up. Now, if in the event of a failure, i.e. the disk drive that these data files reside on or the entire computer system, God forbid, is destroyed, um, to restore after you fix this hardware problem, you will you will restore or copy the, these files to make up your database, uh, the data file, the control files, and the read log files from their backup location back to their repaired primary location and start the database up again. This works fine. This is a, and this is a perfectly acceptable method to back up an Oracle database. It's called a cold backup, a consistent backup, a quiet backup. Okay, all these terms mean the same thing. Now, let's say that this is an international database environment which means that people from all over the world are logging into this database like with a big bank or other, or another international big international corporate worldwide global corporation okay um, so you're hired at a bank a worldwide bank as an Oracle DBA and they say that they want to back up every day and you say okay no problem and they'll say well wait a minute this database needs to be up um, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 12 months out of the year, 365 days out of the year, which means that you, this database can never come down. So, what do you have to do? You have to take what's called a hot backup, which means it's a backup of a database that is taken while the database is running. So you would back up your control files, your read log files, and your data files while the database is up and running. Okay. Um, now, if you remember from a cold backup, if you were to um, go to the cold backup video, I said that the, that, that the database needs to be what we call quiesced. It needs to be down, consistent, in order for you to take backup of its files. That's true, but you can also take a backup of a database hot while it's up and running. Okay. And the first thing we need to do is we need to put the database in archive log mode. Okay. So. First thing we need to do is determine if our database is in archive log mode. So, that being the case, let's go ahead and let's log into our finance database. Now, our finance database is already up and running. So, the first thing we need to do is set our Oracle system identifier to finance, name of our database. Ensure that variable has been set, finance. And now we need to go to the location on our PC here that our database is running on is um resides in which is c colon slash database or data finance that's where it is on disk we do directory listing and we see here's our database we have um our database consists of control files read you log files and data file okay so now let's log into our oracle database and use an sql plus once we're connected to our database in SQL Plus, we're going to issue the command select name from the dollar sign database. And what we're doing is we're selecting the name column from the V dollar sign dynamic performance view. And we'll see that the name of the database is finance. This command in Oracle tells you what the name of the database you're currently connected to, which in this case is finance. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check to see if the Oracle database is in archive log mode. And you do that by, by typing in the following query. Select log mode from V dollar sign database. Okay, and it comes back no archive log. Okay, so this shows us that this database is not in archive log mode. Another command to determine for an archive log mode is the command archive log list. And this says no archive log mode for database log mode, and for automatic archival it says disabled. Okay, so this database is currently not in archive log mode, which means that the only way we can take a valid, um, 
reliable backup of this database would be to do a cold backup, to shut down the database and bring it back up. So this database right now, it not being in archive log mode, is not even a candidate to be considered for a hot backup. So that tells us that archive log mode is a prereq for hot backup. So if you want to take hot backups of your database, meaning if you want to back up the files that collectively make up your Oracle database while the database is up and running, you must do it while the you must that database must be in archive log mode. And we determine that this database is not in archive log mode. So the first thing we have to do is we have to tell the Oracle database where on disk to write archive log files. And I'll discuss archive log files in a bit. So to do that, we're going to change our location from the default location, which is just the directory RDBMS, which stands for Relational Database Management System, under the Oracle Home path here. And we're going to type in the following command, and we're going, to, we're going to tell Oracle specifically what directory to write the archive logs to. And that's done with the following command. Um, well, archive log desk one. Sorry. There's a parameter called archive log archive desk one. This is the parameter that points to where on disk we want our Oracle database to write archive logs to when it's in archive log mode. And as you can see, log archive desk one has no value by default, so it's not going to write to anything. So we're going to set that value by typing in the following: alter system set log archive desk one equals single quote location equals c colon database or data finance archive logs scope sp file we'll get system altered so basically I just set the parameter log archive desk one to location c colon slash database or data finance archive logs so now what I do is I shut down my Oracle database. You're saying, oh, wait a minute. Um, I thought you said to do when you do a hot backup, you don't have to shut down your database. Well, we're not doing a backup. We're setting up this database so in the future it can perform hot backups. Okay, so shut down immediate. The database closed, dismounted, instant shutdown. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start up our database in mount mode. So an Oracle database starts up and it has three startup phases. It starts up no mount, which means it just starts the instance, which is means it allocates the SGA and the PGA, which are the Oracle shared memory areas um, in memory, and then it and starts up the background processes. Then you have the mount phase, and the mount phase is phase two, and that basically locates the control files based on what it finds in the parameter file, and it opens the control files. Okay, and then the third stage is open, is when the control files tell the data tell Oracle where the data files are, and then it opens the data files, validates them, and opens the database for end users being the application can connect and use it. Okay, but by doing a startup mount we're basically stopping it after mount stage 2 which is um, start to do, which is um, locate and open and read the control files so in this in this stage we have to ex we execute the following command to put the database in archive log mode and that command is alter database archive log just that alter database archive log database alter now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start up our we're gonna we're gonna manually transition to the next and final the third Oracle startup phase which is open and we do that by typing in alter database open. Now if you just type in the startup command as I'm sure you've seen it um, in past vid and other videos it goes through all three stages by default the no mount stage the mount stage and the open stage. So now the database is has been opened. So now if I do a select log mode from the dollar sign database, it no longer says no archive log, it says archive log. So now this database has been enabled for archive log mode. And if we type in archive log list, that other command, 
we will see that not only are we in archive log mode and it's enabled, but our location has been changed to C colon slash database or data finance archive logs. So this is our archive log destination. This is where on disk Oracle is going to write archive logs. Now you're probably thinking, well, what the heck are archive logs? Well, let's let's show you. So we go back to DOS, and if we were to look in our look in the um, before we started this video, I created a directory called archive logs. Now, if I were to do a directory list in that directory, archive logs, I would see that it has no, nothing in it, no files, no directories. But if I were to switch my archive logs with the following command, archive log current, because if I do alter system archive log current, what that does is that switches my archive log. And if I now do a directory listen, list into this directory, I will see that I have archive log number six. Okay. Now I'm gonna I want to get five total archive logs. So I'm gonna switch my archive logs four more times. Alter system archive log current. And I'm going to put a backslash now, which means execute the, the last command you have in your buffer, an SQL buffer. That's what the slash character says. So that's number three. That's number four. And that's number five. So I altered my, I switched log, I switched log files five times, which means there should be five archived logs. And the, so basically, so when I set my log underscore archive underscore dest underscore um, one parameter or that alter system command that I did a minute or so ago I basically told Oracle where on disk to write archive log files every time I do an alter system switch command so every time I do these commands it writes log files to this directory to this location which it did and as you can see they're all in order six seven eight nine ten and they'll continue so on and so forth so now <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to take a backup of our database but before we do that we're going to create a table now a table is an object is a logical object in an oracle database which is where other information is stored okay information is stored in tables in the form of rows rows of data okay so we're going to create our we're going to create a table and the table we're going to create is going to be employees in our finance database. This database will also have the names of our employees in our bank here. So create um, table employees, and this table is only going to have one column called F name, so it's only going to track the first name of my employees. And don't worry about what all this means in the create table. The the uh, another video, another Oracle video on YouTube. Uh, for creating tables we will tell you all about that and we'll focus on that so create table employees f name var car okay and if we describe this table we just created which describe means if I type it right to show me the structure of the table we will see it has a column called f name and a character type variable character to 20 Okay, don't worry about that. what that means at this point. And if we select the data that's in this table, which means we select the column, asterisk means is a wild card, which means all the columns, which is just one column anyway in this example, we will see that there's no rows in this table, no rows selected. Okay, so, um, so uh, please tune to video number two um, and continuing to learn on how to, and, and continuing to learn how to take a hot backup of an Oracle database.